All right, if you guys have seen any of my videos before, you've seen the, the OmniTurn CNC lathe working. Uh, one of the continuing issues I've had is trying to figure out where um, I'm getting a slight vibration, which is uh, causing me some headaches. And I think I've tracked that down to uh, the drive system. And uh, what I've decided to do, well, I'll pull that hand box off and get a better shot of that, uh, the current drive system. But uh, what I've decided to do is put in a direct drive system uh, from Omniturn. And uh, I think that's going to alleviate a lot of the problems. So I thought I'd go ahead and document that, uh, that process. The other thing I'm going to be doing is uh, putting in a, a direct drive spindle encoder. So should be able to get rid of uh, you know, this whole apparatus up here on top of the spindle and get that down in the cabinet directly mounted on the, on the motor, uh, which will be really nice too. One less belt to break and a whole lot uh, cleaner of a, of a system. So uh, let me get this palm box off of here and I'll open up the cabinet and show you what's what. Okay, I went and took the entire door off of the front of the machine here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be working in there for the next day or so and uh, just dealing with that door was something I didn't want to do. But uh, this is, so this is the drive system. Um, it's a it's a pulley uh, swap type system. You, you swap the pulleys out to give you different speeds. There's a clutch uh, in here, uh, an entire counter shaft, uh, an entire cast iron apparatus for the counter shaft uh, all that will be coming out and the motor which you can see back here is just going to go directly up uh, to the spindle where these belts are now going up so uh, basically we're getting rid of a lot of weight we're getting rid of uh, one two three four different belts uh, and there's going to be one belt uh, it's going to be a direct one-to-one -one drive. It uses a timing type belt too, so that uh, there's no belt slippage. Uh, that enables me to use the spindle encoder uh, at the motor instead of up on top of the spindle head, like I showed you in the in the last little clip there. Um, so all this is going to be coming out uh, because I hate doing things halfway. All of the the internal uh, hardware for holding you know the mounts and all that stuff will come out and be cleaned uh, the inside of the cabinet will be at least semi cleaned and uh, yeah that's all for now okay this is the kit that uh, NC or Omniturn sends out uh, the direct drive kit consists of uh, two pulleys and the associated hardware, uh, the belt, the direct drive timing belt, kind of cool, has that uh, herringbone pattern, some Z mounts for the, uh, for the motor, uh, some other type of motor mount, don't even know what those are for yet, I'll figure it out, uh, shaft, collar for the mounting the uh, the pulleys to the motor. This is the uh, spindle encoder unit right there along with the mount kit. Um, that's going to be a whole project in and of itself uh, getting that mounted on the motor and again the associated hardware. Uh, the kit is about uh, let's see, the kit was 750 bucks. The uh, Spindle encoder, the direct mount encoder was about another two, 250, I think, something like that. So I think it's one of those things where the, uh, you know, the parts aren't all that expensive, but, you know, you have to pay for the engineering. Uh, somebody has to figure all this stuff out and put the kit together and stock the kit and so forth and so on. So uh, anyways, I'm just happy to have it. And uh, there are people who uh, have figured out ways to make a direct drive system with V-belts themselves. I, I don't feel like taking the time to do all that. I'm, I'm actually happier to spend the money and uh, have somebody uh, figure it out. And their uh, tech support has been just 
A1 great. Uh, those guys, they, they really, really, uh, they just take really good care of you. And they really try to help you out with any trouble you have. So, uh, any guts are now out of the cabinet. Ain't nothing left. Here's the bottom of the spindle. And pretty filthy in here. It's going to take some cleaning. It doesn't have to be uh, operating room clean, but I do want to get it at least halfway cleaned out. Semi. Yeah, there's the counter shaft with the clutch on it and the old adjustment bracket. Obviously not all spinning weight, but those things are heavy. So yeah, bad belts. As a former auto mechanic, I, I know that bad belts can cause noisy and uh, vibrating kinds of problems. The, the door, this is the motor uh, mounting plate. There is a, that's pretty filthy too. It's going to be a lot of fun to clean up. Okay, I got the motor mount cleaned up. That's the mounting plate there. And it's, you know, it's passable. Better than the quarter inch of grime that was on it before. Got the inside of the cabinet cleaned up. Again, we don't need to perform surgery in here, but uh, I've always been a proponent of clean machines make better parts. So that part's done. I'm going to have to order some of the isolator bushings uh, like this one right here. Um, I couldn't find them at McMaster or uh, Granger or any of the usual suspects, um, but uh, Hardinch had well, they only have two and I need four. And they're eight bucks a piece, so they ain't cheap, but they're not horrible expensive either. So I'll get those ordered up. I have all the 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 mounts for the plate cleaned up. Um, I gotta look at the directions for the for the upgrade and kind of figure out where I'm gonna go next. So I'll bring you back then. Alright, everything's cleaned up. Well, ha, clean is a relative term. Um, I set the motor mount pad uh, back inside the machine there to measure from the spindle on the motor up to the spindle on the head, um, just to see, make you know, make sure I had the right belt size and everything before I started doing other modifications. I think the next thing I'm going to work on is the spin the uh, pulley on the spindle needs to be modified for the new um, uh, belt drive gear. Um, well, I guess it's a pulley too. Man, I can't speak today. But uh, anyways, so I'm going to try to get that pulley off of there, and I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to have to make like a little spanner uh, to get this retaining nut off of there, and. Uh, well, we'll see what I come up with. Alright, so I thought I'd just show real quick what I came up with to uh, get that head nut off of the, the back of the spindle pulley there. Um, it's not pretty, but it gets the job done. This uh, bottom part is actually an action uh, removal wrench, uh, you know, for bolt action rifles and things like that. And I just made this little attachment up here. Uh, that I bolted to it, and then I turned down a couple of, I uh, uh, forget what they were, 7 sixteenths by 14, I think, uh, grade 8 bolts. I just turned them down to the diameter of the nut itself, so that, see if I can, well, kind of hard to see, but, oops, those... Uh, fit in the holes on the nut and then had plenty of leverage 
to uh, get the nut off. So, not elegant, uh, but it gets the job done. Okay, the next thing I have to do is get this pulley uh, right there out of the, uh, off the spindle so that I can turn it down to size for the new, uh, for the new pulley. And I don't, I don't really, I, I guess I could have put some kind of an impact, um, what's that called, like a slide hammer on there, but I really didn't want to do that to the, to the headstock. Um, I just don't want to put that kind of impact on the, on the bearings. So I want to pull this off, uh, but it didn't have any, uh, a puller with uh, bolts that would work for, they have these tiny little 1032 um, holes in the, in, the, uh, in the pulley there. So uh, I just, uh, my solution was, see if I get that to focus, my dirty hands. Uh, I just sunk a 1032 screw into the ends of these, these longer bolts and uh, we'll, we'll see how that works. In, in retrospect, making those those little uh, puller bolts was uh, heh, was a waste of time. As soon as this thing got, I, I should have used the, the, as soon as it started moving, the rest of it just slid right off. So, um, a little bit of wasted time, but better than, uh, um, better safe than sorry.